What's up guys, Justin here with TheCGEssentials.com back with another Blender quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about how to join and separate different objects inside of Blender. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so if you wanna download the example models that I'm using in this video and follow along, you can use the low poly gradient models by Ed Rice from Sketchfab. But what I wanted to talk about in this video is I wanted to talk about how now, right now, these are all in here as separate objects, right? So inside of Blender, you've got objects um, that you can see over in your scene collection. And so right now, what I can do for each one of those is I can tab in there and I can edit them. And if you remember, you can do a multiple select and then tab in here and select multiple objects and edit them all at once. But sometimes it's more convenient to put them in a group together, so to join them into a single object. And so the way you can join them into a single object is you can just click on one and then just do a shift click and select the others that you wanna put in the group. And then you can just do a control J. And so if you do a control J, notice how over here in my outliner, now, Instead of having three separate meshes in here, I only have one. And so what that means is that means that first, if I move this, all of these objects are gonna move around together when I'm in object mode. In addition, if I tab into edit mode like this, notice how I can edit any of these now instead of just one or the other. So basically all of the geometry that was inside of these objects is now contained inside of a single mesh object. So you can use this to kind of consolidate things inside of your models. Um, you can do a lot of different things with this. So another thing you can run into when you download models is you can get models that come in as a part of a single group, right? And so what that means is that means, for example, if you look at this tent, um, this bench, and this signpost, they're all in the same group. Well, what you can do is you can also separate those into individual meshes instead. Say that you don't want all of these in the same object, well, you can separate them out. And so the way that you can separate them out is you can just select your objects, tab into edit mode, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the Z key, and I'm gonna go into wireframe mode. And then I'm just gonna select all the geometry inside of an object that I want to be its own object. I want this tent to be its own thing in a separate object from these other objects. And so then you can either go up to mesh, separate, or you can tap the P key and then click on the option for selection. And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna separate your selection into its own object over here. And if you wanted to stay organized with this, what you could do is you could come in here and organize this. So you could call this tent, for example. And then let's say we wanted to separate the bench out. You could select the whole thing right here, tap P, and then click on the button for selection. Now, if I tab back over here, I could rename this bench. So if you wanna keep everything organized, you can do it that way. So one thing I do wanna point out is there is an option in there when you uh, do this. So let's say, for example, that I was select to select everything and hit P, there's an option for separate by loose parts. And so if you click on the option for separate by loose parts and then tab back into object mode and select these, notice what it's done is it's separated these out by the individual parts contained inside of the model instead of by the group. And so there is a time when that can be helpful. This is probably not it though. So I'm gonna undo that. But you can separate all of the loose parts into separate objects as well if you decide that you wanna do that. All right, so practically speaking, let's talk for just a second about why this might be helpful. So let's say for example, that you were to tab into object mode and you had some cubes like this. And let's say that you were to, or tab into edit mode, and you had some cubes like this. And let's say we were to also add something like a cylinder. So I'm gonna move the cylinder over here like this. And then we'll go ahead and just move it up just a bit. And so let's say that we wanted to use a Boolean modifier on these objects. Well, the problem right now with these objects is you can't do that. What the modifier does is it applies based on the objects that you have selected. Right? Well, notice how I can only select this whole thing because these are all inside of the same object. So if I was to try to add a Boolean modifier, notice how this wouldn't work because these objects are all inside of the same object and it's labeled cube. So what we would wanna do is we would want to tab into edit mode. And notice, by the way, that if you were to select one of these faces and then tap the L key, you can select all of the linked faces in the object 
or linked geometry. So if you wanted to select something really quickly, like this box, you could just select one of the faces and tap the L key to select that linked geometry. But then what we'd want to do is we'd want to come in here, we'd want to tap the P key, we'd want to, we'd want to separate this by selection, and then we want to then we'd want to select this face, tap the L key, tap P, and we'd want to separate this one by selection as well. Notice how now if I select these, these are separate objects inside my outliner. And so what that means is that means that now I could apply a Boolean modifier to one of them and select the other objects in order to remove geometry. We'll notice how now I can use these objects as Boolean objects in order to remove material inside of my model like this. So by separating these, I can now apply modifiers to each one of them inside of Blender. All right, so I'll link to some videos about Sketchfab as well as Booleans in, on this page if you want to find out more about those. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.